Hello everyone, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome to Sid Meier Civilization Beyond Earth. This is the spiritual successor to Alpha Centauri. If you like Civilization and you like space, this is a perfect mix of both those games, and it, to be honest, it really combines it perfectly. So, without further ado, I am going to play my first series into the full game of Beyond Earth, and we're going to go ahead and choose a sponsor. Now, by the title, you probably already know who I'm going to pick, but uh, I'll leave that for a second. The difficulty is going to stay on Gemini, which is the hard difficulty, only because I have yet to play past late game. I, I have not completed this game yet, only because I haven't had enough time to sit down with it and, you know, complete it. Game pace is going to be standard, and map size is small, that's fine. Now, like I said, you probably already know who I'm going to choose as the sponsor, and that would be the ARC, or the ARC, the American Reclamation Corporation. They have covert operations that are 25% faster and cost 25% more in tree, which is great for a spy game. Now, later on, that's going to come in very, very handy when I try to go into other people's foreign territory and take things that don't belong to me. So that's going to really help me out, so uh, I want that around. <laughs> Alright, let's go into Advanced Setup. And take a look at what we're going to do for planet options. Now, the map type is going to be on Equatorial. Now, this is a rapidly spinning world with a bulging equator and day slash night cycle that I could just say day or night cycle much shorter than Earth's. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, that being said, I did have a previous series that was before the release of the game that lasted about three episodes before Valve took the Steam copy down. Um, well, from Steam, the press copy, I should say. So that's what map I chose for that series, and I actually, I didn't get to experience it like I wanted to. So we're definitely going to keep this map type and see what that's going to offer us. Other than that, everything looks good. We're going to keep all five victory types turned on. All right, perfect. Let's back out. Okay, now we have to choose our colonists. These are the people that we're going to be staying with on the spacecraft, so we really have to choose carefully here. So we kind of have to choose people we're going to like, and I personally like aristocrats. Okay, they're going to give us three energy and plus one health in every single city. That is fantastic early game, especially because the health. The health is one thing that, you know, you need to watch when you're starting out because health is a very hard thing to keep control of early on, considering there's no luxury resources like in Civilization V. So that's why I chose the aristocrats. Now, I could have chose artists. They have the plus two culture, which is great. It is great, but I think I want to kickstart my stockpile on energy. So we're going to go with the aristocrats. All right, next up, we choose our spacecraft. Now, this thing is the top of the line, yet it has one flaw. We can only take one module with us, sadly. I, I know, it's crazy, right? This beautiful, big-looking spacecraft, and we can only take one of these gorgeous things with us. I think I'm going to choose retrograde thrusters. This is going to give us a wider area to choose our landing spot so that we can carefully uh, choose where we want our first colony to be placed. And I like this better because it also reveals a lot of the starting area map. And you'll see that when we get into game. Next up, we choose the cargo. And now, there is nothing wrong with cargo. Everything in here is beautiful. It is. It's fantastic. There is nothing in the cargo that is technically bad. I mean, every one of these is great. So, I think I'm going to go with laboratory, though. Only because I want to have that pioneering technology in the beginning of the game. Mainly for the trade depots. If a station pops down and I don't have pioneering technology yet, then I might have a chance of actually losing that station due to not trading with it for the certain amount of time and I'm sorry but this looks like a spider and that just scared me for a second gosh why am I so I you know it's fine it's fine that's not a spider that's just something in the rafters waiting to kill these poor innocent automated forklifts I mean oh boy all right let's get off of this let's just um go to the map yeah that's fine go to the map all right great <laughs> I don't know that was that was weird um anyways Okay, so map type is great, equatorial, that's fine, and uh, that's going to be it. So let's see where we stand in this new world of an equatorial alien planet. Now, I believe they used to have names, but it doesn't seem like they're there anymore. Maybe it's because I chose equatorial. If I chose Terran, they might have a name, but I don't know. Regardless, let's just jump into the world. I will start from scratch on this new planet, but I have done so successfully before. When I was just a girl, I helped- A girl? I am not a girl. Uh, I helped my father run his business. Economics has never baffled me as it has so many others. Such principles just made sense to me. I will lead my colony to great riches, and Ark will profit. Once I have my share, of course. You know, because I'm a greedy, uh, greedy little girl. That makes sense. Okay, uh, especially coming from the, uh, the CEO of Ark, Suzanne Marjorie Fielding, who once was a little girl. So that makes a little bit more sense. I'm not talking about my own biography. Um, okay, well, whew, that's a close one. Oh, gosh. All right, let's jump into the world. 
Aha! Okay, so we're in a desert uh, terrain type. Perfect. I like it. I like the yellowish-orange textures going around. I love the, the plateaus and the, the canyons. Good. Okay, so what do we have around us? Let's just take a, a lay of the land before we settle down. We have one resource pond over here, another over here, another over there. So it looks like we can see three resource pods right in the beginning here, which is great. What we also see is a lot of floatstone, and that generally means one thing. Purity is going to be the way to go. Now, yeah, I, yeah, purity is definitely going to be the way to go here, I think. Because, I mean, the Xenomass over here, which is great, I mean, it's only two. We could probably work off that, but I definitely think floatstone, there is an abundance of it around here, and we're probably going to go for that. Okay, so let's choose our land egg spot. Now, we have tons of resources around us. We have two fiber and one fungus. We also have some chitin over here, and again, floatstone and resolin. Uh, but uh, I think that we're going to go ahead and settle right on this tile right here. Not only because it's on the river tile, but because it's going to give us that plus one food that's going to help us out a little bit more. Now, sadly, the forest will disappear, of course, so that production will probably not stay there. As you can see right here... Oh, it did! Really? Okay, that's interesting. So we keep that uh, that output even though it's not there anymore. I like it. Okay, great. Well, we settled down Central, the first colony in our empire. At Empire. Ooh, that's very imperialistic. Perfect. Yes, let's keep thinking that way. We're going to keep this empire expanding rapidly for the greed of ARC, or the Ark. How lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and move our free explorer over to the first resource pod down here and take a look at the surrounding area. Okay, the first thing I want to build in Central is an Old Earth Relic. We want to kickstart our culture so we can grab some virtues early. Now, I generally go down Prosperity first only because of the health bonuses it grants. Not only that, but it gives us a free colony once we get to this, you know, this virtue. Now, that's not to say that I won't choose any of these, you know, in the beginning as well. I might. It's just right now I want to go into uh, Prosperity and see if we can go ahead and get down to Mind Over Matter, which is plus 7 health. That's really going to help us out early game and uh, make sure that we stay above the red. As for research, I think we should work on Ecology because that has the Ultrasonic Fence and the Ultrasonic Fence keeps the aliens away. Yes. A blast of ultrasonic waves would keep me away. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's just uh, keep that. Okay. Keep on coming down this way. We're going to grab the... Oh, God. No, no, no. Excuse you. Well, we'll just scurry around you. It shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you don't even care. Oh, boy. Who is this? Who else disturbs the colony of America? El pueblo unido de Sudamérica. Le da la bienvenida. Another American. Well, a South American, to be exact. Brasilia. Okay, fantastic. Well, I welcome you to this brave new world. I don't know what we're going to call it, but for the time being, it's a brave new world. So, welcome, Citadella, to the worlds. And hopefully we are on different continents. I doubt it, but we can hope and pray. Ah, a... what is this? A free solar collector. Oh, great. Okay, that's going to help us out a lot. Now, what the solar collector does is, in the tiles it affects, which is a radius of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. It is going to provide about uh, one energy on each tile, which is, of course, great. So, we definitely want that, but we'll use it when we have a little bit more population. It's not going to be worth it to us to waste it right now. Okay, as for you, you're coming up here to, well, grab that resource pod. We also have a quest. Gifts from home. Right, okay, find two resource pods. We found one, and now we need to find the other, which is right over there. Perfect. Central has grown. That was quick, actually. <laughs> Perfect. We have two citizens in the city already working the fiber and the fungus. How lovely. Oh boy, we have a manticore over here. Well, these guys are ranged, so as long as we stand right next to them, they should feel intimidated. Although, they have an air force, so we have to watch out. I'm going to grab this resource pod. You guys better back off. This is mine. It's human technology, and you guys just don't deserve it. But if you want to stay around, that's fine, as long as you don't kill me. Sound good? Good. Okay. Uh, quest updated. Found an outpost. Well, I will once I can. Right now, it's not actually viable for me to colonize anywhere else. 
Okay, what I assume is the issue right now is there is an alien nest somewhere over here. Probably on that Xenomass, because that would make sense. Okay. Come, Mr. Hubbard. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Hello, Paul Australia. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's go right there. Yes, that's exactly where it is. It's uh, on the Xenomass, which, I mean, I think the alien nest can only spawn on Xenomass. So that makes sense. So, what I'm going to do is actually sit there for a tick and uh, not go there. Yeah, so just sit here for a second. We are going to go ahead and get around these guys, but for the time being, let's just stay calm and don't make any sudden movements. Yeah, that's, that's good, right? I hope so. <laughs> do not attack me. I'm a friend of the alien empire. Go there. 50 energy. Look at that. That was so worth it. <laughs> All right, let's let's back up and just uh, take a look at. Well, yeah, let's go to South America and see what they've got to offer. Okay, we can work on something else. Yeah, let's go ahead and work on our first soldier unit. We're gonna need some defense around here, at least in the early stages, until we build the ultrasonic fence. Oh, far base one already settled down. Well, perfect. In that case, after the soldier, work on a trading post or a trade depot. Whatever it's called. Alrighty then, not going that way either. Come back. Goodness, we're trapped. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, I guess there's only one way to go, either this way or this way. So, what we're gonna do is try to sneak around this way. See what's down on the southern half of this, uh, this continent. A quest decision, really. When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from Old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken root outside of our central... Outside of our central... Outside of central, and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. That, that sounds good to me. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. I think it's a good thing. So you know what? We're going to ignore it and continue to purity and supremacy. So, yeah, let's do that. Hey! Five culture! Awesome. Okay, well, that definitely helps us. We can choose a virtue. Of course that helps us. And I think, like I said before, we're going to go down prosperity and go into frugality, which is 10% food retained after a city grows. Perfect. Okay, keep on coming down the southern... Ah, uh, hello there. You know what? Considering this explorer has already been this way, I want to go this way. Because there could be some expeditions around here that I don't know about. So, yeah, we're coming this way. Let's go. Another quest decision? Oh, right, chapter two of the uh, the other one. The invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from the surrounding land. However, the species has shown to be a great potential crop as it grows faster and larger than it ever did on old earth. Our scientists believe that through low level genetic modification, the plant could be made to serve as either food or energy. Right. Well, I want purity, so we're gonna go with food. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, that also prompts another quest, which is to build a biofuel plant building in Central. Well, where is the biofuel plant? Let's see here. Is it up here? Bioglass. You know, I really, I can't find it. I, I <laughs> it's crazy. I, I can't find it. I've been looking through all of these and I, I just, I cannot find the biofuel plant, which is fine. I'll find it eventually. But for the time being, we'll just keep that, uh, that quest on the back burner. Oh, there it is! Biofuel plant! Finally, okay. Great. Well, eventually we'll get it to biology. <laughs> Alright, cool. Another quest decision. Okay, our relic has provoked an ideological split among our citizens. Some believe the Old Earth relic is instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Others think it represents a valuable repository of traditional wisdom. Okay, well, we can either make all relics free maintenance, or turn it into culture. You know what? Culture it is. Yes, perfect. Extra culture. Alright, we're going to continue over here to the east and see if there are any expeditions, because I definitely want to excavate some good, uh, good nutrients. Purity. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Harvest this planet for its expeditions. <laughs> and begin to soldier. Awesome. Okay, well, we're gonna station you right over here just to scout this alien nest. I don't trust it. It's looking at me kind of weird. Yeah. Ugh. God, it's like bubbling up and... Oh, God. No. No. 
Okay, let's not look at that. You can just look at the mountain. It's pretty and actually kind of boring. But have fun. Okay, we have some aliens over here, which could actually be a reminder that this world is hostile, or it could be a reminder that uh, this world is hostile. Fantastic. They don't like me. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Back up. Just... We have 22. Go there. That is my asthma, but you're going to live through it. It's better than the aliens. And we get another virtue. That virtue is going to be with a workforce initiative. So we're going to gain a free worker unit in the capital, which is right over here. Go! Build me some fibers. Okay, you need to come back here and heal. That alien did a number on you, and uh, you can't do that again. God, this is a very hostile environment. We are surrounded on all fronts. There is nothing we could do but try to push our way through. I mean, the only way we can get through with our explorer, besides squeezing our way through and hoping that we don't get attacked, is to grab the first level of purity, which would allow us to uh, not get attacked by aliens. We're going to need that. Oh! Oh! Okay, we have somebody else. Who's this? Ah, uh, Mindira of the Cavathan Protectorate. The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. Well, thank you, Cavatha. All right, goodbye. When Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. Great, we have a Kology which unlocks the Miasma Repulsor, or Miasmic Repulsor, which kills away all this miasma. The Vivarium, which gives us plus two food and plus one food from desert, which would help us out, actually. And ultrasonic fences. So that's great. In fact, the desert thing really doesn't play a factor until we come up north, which is basically all desert. So, yeah. Not going up north for a little while. Not worth it. And a quest decision! Okay. Oh! Okay, a station. Perfect. So we can either get three food and one culture, or one food and three culture crap how dare you do this to me um culture or food uh, well we're getting actually kind of close to the uh, the line between unhealthiness and healthiness so culture it is Hakima no Church of Dawn's Light perfect they're probably gonna die anyways <laughs> great okay let's go ahead and start working on um, genetics. Grab these, uh, these two buildings that are going to help us with health. We are definitely going to need these buildings. Okay. We are actually spreading kind of fast. I mean, Central has grown quite a bit since we landed. Only 22 turns ago. We're at four population, and we've spread out by three tiles so far. Which is fantastic. The only thing we can't seem to do is scout. Because of the aliens and their hostility towards me. So it looks like our last person is going to be Megan of the, uh, the African Union. The African people greet you. And the American people greet you. Thank you. Okay, so actually, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, I'm sorry, there's one more out there that we have yet to discover. Well, not that we have yet to discover before they, they haven't even plopped down yet. So once they plop down, we'll, uh, we'll learn who the last person is. Okay, what's next? Uh, the mine, it looks like. Yep, come over here. Give us more production. Okay, I think I want to continue down this way. I know there's probably an alien nest somewhere over here, but I have to push forward. I have to make sure that I get at least one expedition. That is my goal here. <laughs> come on, you can do it. Okay, choose a production. Yes, it is going to be an ultrasonic fence. And then we'll work on the clinic after that. So add to Q, clinic is after that. Perfect. But the ultrasonic fence is going to keep out aliens. And that's what I mostly care about right now. Because at any point in the uh, the next couple turns, we're probably going to see the first of the siege worms. And siege worms are scary. So we got to no, make sure that we... Yeah, what? By trade. Uh, what? How were things going terrible? Uh, okay, well, what do we have? I wish I could see what energy I have. Oh, 103. So you're going to leave me with three energy. Is that is that what you think you're going to do? No, I'm sorry. I don't care about your favor. You're on the other side of the world. 
I'm sorry. Oh, I read that wrong. I would have had 103 left. Well, it's fine. We have liqueur of the Franco-Iberia. Franco Hello, Elodie. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Simple and sweet. All right, go there. Ooh, a progenitor ruin. Okay, fantastic. Good, good, good. We will go over there and excavate that to hopefully give us some good things. All right, let's head over here. Hopefully there's no alien nest to disrupt this. Which there isn't. In fact, there's two progenitor ruins. Gosh, that is lucky. So right now we're going to go ahead and grab Pathfinders, which is going to give us an additional three expeditions on our rover. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, which means that we can stay out here longer without having to go back home. So right now I have four modules, which is perfect. Okay, let's work on this progenitor ruin. There we go. Lovely. We'll see what we get from that. I hope it's something very, very good because I deserve it. <laughs> There's basically nowhere else we can go but up. So hopefully these are good things.